are all in. They come under starters orders for the Twix condition and they are off. And a nice level break. They turn left-handed immediately with Prophecy and Viola taking the proceedings into their own hands. Somebody was left badly away and that was Kara Kum there. Kala doing very well indeed as well. So too is Viola on the standside rail. Prophecy is there with the yellow cap and the stable companion Black Warrior just behind. There are two groups. The ones near the rail and the ones away from the rail. The ones near the rail are being led by Viola. The ones on the far side is with the red capped Moscow. So it's Moscow on the far side, Viola on this side, and then uh, we're away on the very far outside. Carla is there. So too is Viola. Viola going for the line. Viola on this side. We're away on the far side. Uh, I think Moscow losing ground here. Then comes Prophecy with the late run. Here comes Carla. But Viola going for the line, leaving this field by three, four, five lengths. If Viola is going to win again, Prophecy is going to come second. We're away is going to come third. And then Carla is going to come fourth. But it's a good win for Viola. Viola. Two wins in a, in a row, one win uh, last time, one win today. 100% record for Viola, two-time winner from Prophecy in second. Then came Carla, then came Word Away. A very good race uh, where you have seen Viola shining again and uh, Prophecy coming second. So we were right in predicting that the form horses will probably take this one. Viola took it with consummate ease uh, going away from the field. Joe Muya, or rather Henry Muya, putting his hands down as he crossed the line. Prophecy is second. Then came, I think, Carla came third, and Wereway came fourth. By just a nose there, Carla uh, coming third. So uh, there you have it, the result of this race, but it's uh, unofficial. Viola won it. Uh, in second came Prophecy. Third, by a nose, was Carla, and fourth was Wereway. Well, as we predicted, as we think we know what we uh, predict, it was a two-horse race, and sure enough, there are the two horses. But Henry, um, I think uh, Prophecy got uh, dwelt in the stalls a bit and lost quite a lot of ground, but that doesn't uh, mean anything on the way you ran Viola for Ibram. And uh, a very, very smart Russian revival uh, filly you've got here. And uh, really, I think um, could have won by much further if you wanted. Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to thank Washira for giving me this opportunity for the second time. And he said, uh, this field should jump quick. Sit as long as you can. And if there's nothing come to you, just, just educate her, you know. And she's really special, very, very fast. And there's a good future for her. Well, lucky every time Ibrahim eats a meal, he puts on a kilo. So I think you're going to be the stable jockey for Viola throughout her racing career. With the futurity coming up and all those, I think you've got a big chance uh, to stay on this horse. Oh, yeah, you know, I've been with Yashiro for many, many years, and we've always worked good as a team, and I'm happy again he trusted me this feeling, had full confidence, and we've prevailed again today. Great, well done, well done. Ibram, you produce them. Uh, it's well known that uh, the Grammaticus has breed fast horses early, and uh, you train them, and you've got all the experience you've had from Ken, and this is no exception to this young filly here, this Viola. Won very, very nicely today. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to say She's a very promising filly, and she's got a great future. Where I've tell you also to get get board on her and just give her a nice ride. Uh, he wrote through instructions, and the results were there. And I think very nice for the filly to come back and race on good ground, because when they've won on hard ground and suddenly they come again and it, the ground is hard again, they start to think and they don't want to go in the start. But today's ground was absolutely perfect for a second outing. Yeah, luckily we had some rain last la last week. Two two couple of to a nice range. Uh, she loves it on, uh, on, uh, on a softer ground. Uh, I, I still feel she, she's too fast for everything else at the moment. She, she, she'd love to come. She loves to come from behind. If she, had, she has a leader in front, and she, she's going to even give, give us a nice, a better race. Okay, there's a presentation to come, so don't go far away. Uh, the Twix condition. The winner, horse number two, Viola. Second, number one, Prophecy. Third, number five, Carla. Fourth, number eight, Wiraway. And in fifth, number four, Moscow. A presentation to follow, and then we'll go to the Mars group, uh, Philly, uh, the, the, the lesser handicap over 2060. So don't go away, there's a presentation. Here you come. A lady, sorry. Alim. 
Thank you very much for getting here in time. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure you're selling lots of ice cream so, and Twix products. So no excuse. That's your excuse. Well done. Okay. Welcome to Ngong Race Course. Thank you very much for your generous sponsorship. The Jockey Club of Kenya very much appreciate. And uh, the race was a, a super race, in fact, and uh, won there by uh, Viola, trained uh, for Mr. and Mrs. Ari Grammaticus, and trained there by Ibram Washira. So the winning uh, owner, Ari Grammaticus, will receive no doubt, a box of Twix. Well done, indeed. And the little girl, shake the little girl's hand. Yeah, well done. And then the winning trainer is Ibrahim Washira. He doesn't need chocolate. He had to put two kilos on, on Warai in the first race. So no more chocolate, Ibrahim. Give it to the kids. And the winning jockey, well ridden, Henry Muya. Thank you, Alim, very much. And uh, hope you're enjoying your afternoon the next race to follow shortly.